going back and forth between here and the big club in Philadelphia. Davison has it now. Playmaking guard underneath Ooh. finds Peterson. Sets the feet and knocks it down, so a good start for Maine. So Maine with a three-point lead early in the first quarter. Peterson's runner is no-go. Kata tapping at it. That one fell through. He's got great size, length. Pocket pass to Kata. Davison sets the feet. That's offline. So a new 14 here for Maine. Peterson. Yeah, so he's got two. Good to see Davison out there. He missed the regular season finale with a little bit of an ankle issue. Kata, that's a swift move. And Mia's Kata, this is hard to stop. Comes in, stays balanced, spins, finishes right over the front of the rim, completely hopping over. However, you heard the coaches mention it to you. Full rosters today, as you would expect for the playoffs. Peterson! Peterson takes it away. He's got great defensive instincts. And Peterson now into double figures with 10. This is Stewart. Fortune right past. And then a block by Muhammad. Count the basket, though. Maine recovers. Playing with the two fouls. Stewart, he got Smith in the air. Lines this one up. Can't hit it. Keita, boy, another offensive board. That's why you got to box somebody out if you're Delaware. Cornucopia of playmaking guards. Davison, he's one of them. Cornucopia of three-point shooting guards. <laughs> Jeff Doughton Jr. with back-to-back 20-point -back games. He's got 21 before half. Davison, close range, falls through. One of the Sixers' two-way players that's on the roster. I thought the rim was going to fall off with how hard he slammed that down. <laughs> with force, Davison, a little finesse on the other side. Maine is getting lazy with these passes. Delaware is making him pay right now. Wow. Peterson, nice answer. That was quick. Maybe that was a strategy well, by the well fans. Well played. Home court advantage. Although it's the Blue Coats with the four point edge. Davison steps into the mid range. Davison starting to get aggressive offensively. He's Ricky Council the fourth because he is one of four siblings named Ricky. Siblings, yes, so Davison, uh, yeah. The defense totally bought it as well, so he got an even more open shot. Davison, back-to-back -back threes. Into the decisive fourth. Who's got it? It's Stewart. Knife's in, back out to Peterson. With the shot clock draining, it's a huge three. Maine is back in front. There's a mismatch, get him the ball. Well, now Muhammad's pushed him out 15 feet. Keita, the jump hook, the old school floater. Fabulous job making the defensive play, but then on offense, I mean, you mentioned it, the old school move over the front. Of so he has come alive. This is Maine's second leading scorer. The average is 19 a game. He's just about at that. Davison, head fake and drive, kisses it off the window and in. It's an eight point game after Jeff Downton Jr has now pushed his way to 37 tonight. Kata, the tap back one more time. Kata has been working for every bucket down low for Tyler Kelly's just been able to put out the momentum that the opponents had. He's been big time for me. The 26-year-old from Oregon has been incredibly important. Davison gets that one to rattle through. I like it, it speeds up the game. It's a great rule. Two-position lead for the Celtics, making an eight-point advantage. Peterson, Brownridge open. Another missed triple, so they're now below 30% from beyond the arc. Well, you can see the fatigue starting to set in. Keita with the two-hand flush. They've never been there. It's hard to believe, but Maine's done a great job finding its balance. Keita with the, they're in control, as you say, and you got to just try to get the best possible shot off the drive. This is Davidson, collects to the rim, got it! Timeout, Delaware, and Maine. Authoritative slam, and then the drive to the basket, the fancy footwork from J.D. Davidson. 110 to go. Bounce pass to Keita, oh, the two-hand stuff! 